Hello. If you have been putting a lot of energy into posting, you want to be consistent. Maybe you've gotten branding done. You want people to engage with you and ultimately to buy from you and to be amazing customers so that you can help them and you can live out your mission to do what you want to do in your business, in your job, in, in your life. And you create content to do that. But what you're finding potentially is that people are not they're liking it maybe, they maybe they engage with it, but they're not resonating on a level that makes them say, oh my gosh, I have to work with you. And I wanna point out a very simple reason why that might be. And that reason is honestly a very small but mighty trap that business owners, content creators fall into um, thinking that they're doing the right thing and it just isn't working. So this is gonna be really, a simple, like a simple way that it boils down into. And most people do not know this. They don't know it, but you actually operate on two lanes. Your business, your content operates on two lanes. Now, you know that you're an expert, you know stuff. I'll give you some examples. We've worked with pelvic floor, um, occupational therapists. We've worked with photographers, dietitians, um, you know, OBMs, like you name it. And there's an of like ads managers expertise where you know your lane of knowledge. And so what lane is that? What is that? That is the lane of your expertise, which is very easy to educate from. And this is the very first thing. If I were to tell you three things, this is the first thing I would tell you is part of your problem with your content is that you are living and driving and you are on the highway of educating and thinking that giving more information away for free and making sure that that looks good and it's branded and and people like it and they share it like that that is the ultimate goal and while it's so awesome really i want you to picture that that's kind of like people dipping their toe in which is not the worst thing but the worst thing is when they don't go in at all they don't go all in with you so how do you reconcile that you reconciling it by accepting the fact that there's actually two lanes, two. And this other one is called, oh, and you know, the other thing about educating is people do it under the guise and under the advice from amazing experts in the field like Alex Hormozzi or Gary Vee. And they say, hey, add value forever. Like do all the free stuff you can, prove to people that you can help them Don't sell to them. Hold off on selling as long as possible. And here's what I want to tell you. You can 1 million percent add value and sell at the same time. In fact, people love it. They just don't know that they're craving it. So let me show you what that looks like. So the first lane is this education lane and you're cruising and it's well paved. You know the feeling. It's awesome. Now this other lane is called your sales lane. Sales. And if you're watching this on YouTube, you can see that I'm drawing. If you're listening on the podcast, you can uh, go watch it. Or hopefully I am demonstrating well with my words. So what what happens is that the sales lane, it ends up being very um, treated, treated very separately. And so it's kind of, it's, I'm drawing some gravel here. It's like dirty, it's gravelly, it's bumpy. And what do you do on a bumpy road? Especially if the roads that are going from the education road to the sales road there's like overgrown woods and leaves and they're going to like scratch the roof of your car. And what are you going to do if you go from a beautifully well-paved road to a bunch of overgrown stuff? You're probably going to turn around. And unfortunately, this is exactly how people treat their posting. Like the education is smooth. It's beautiful. And then once the sales mode starts, it's like, it's abrupt. It's like, it's so different feeling. It feels like, oh my gosh, of course they're promoting something. Oh my gosh, of course this and that. And so promotion and selling are actually quite different too. We can talk about that in a different video, but I just want you to know for now that you can sell and educate in a way that adds value to people. What is value? It's something that's useful, that's worth something. And you want to know what I want, what I want to tell you is useful is people's minds being opened is them being bought in, hello. Everyone thinks that they're selling. What if you thought about people getting bought in? They like purchase an idea into their heart because of you. Because people are not even going 
to buy your product unless they're thinking in the right perspective, in the right way. Um, there could be, you know, I was actually just talking to someone at a Christmas party last night and she said, the one thing I wish I did was pelvic floor therapy after all three of my kids. And um, she didn't. She's like, I thought I could do it on my own. And so something that you could sell to them, like imagine, imagine that this isn't overgrown, that it's actually a beautifully connected, a beautifully connected like bridge. And then both roads are paved. When you go down this path of selling, this is when people start to feel the shift in themselves. They start to feel like, oh, wow, I do need a professional. I don't think that I just want to go to Instagram or YouTube for all of my education. I want to buy from you. I want to know the real information. It's because they're bought in. And so what you're really selling a lot of times are these new frames of thinking. What are those frames of thinking? When you do this, sales becomes such a natural, not only a natural byproduct, like people will want to buy from you much more naturally, but to them, it will feel like one smooth road. Buying from you was just a matter of time. It was a matter of their thinking way more than it was a matter of how they interacted with your Instagram content. And what's beautiful about this is if you take back the lens of, what do I post? Where do I post? You actually can enter into the door of how am I going to sell them on their belief? How can I do this every day? Because that is what's valuable. That is, you can sell and add value at the same time. In fact, sales content is valuable content when it's done correctly. So I want to tell you three valuable um, beliefs that you can sell to them and how you can think about this. You might want to write this down. One is, what are the beliefs they need to believe? In fact, I want to say this more specifically. What is the belief that you have that they need to get on board with? Think about it. Maybe it's similar to what I just said. They need to believe that hiring a professional is more valuable than just scrolling Instagram. Because did you know that when people like like a post or they share it, that kind of stimulates enough dopamine for them. It kind of scratches the itch and they get it out of their system and they kind of think they did the work. How many recipes have you saved, but you didn't do anything with it, but you kind of feel like you did because you engaged with it. Isn't that weird how our brains work? How often do you really follow through with the advice, even if they really amazing post? We just don't, it's not human nature. So that is why as a creator, as someone who's on mission to help people, you've got to really have this skill of selling beliefs that get people on board emotionally with what you're doing. Okay, so that's the first one. What belief do they need to get on board with? Number two, what belief do they need to stop believing? What is in their way? What's in their way of actually doing it? Is it that they think, they think that they're a failure? that they're inconsistent. You know, so many people will say, I can't do that because I have ADHD or I have a baby. Like what is in their way that they need to, you can actually help knock down some of those limiting beliefs and help them see this straightaway path that is possible. Because by all means, educate, but pair it with the belief that they, that it matters, that they should do it, that they should put in the effort. Isn't that amazing? So there's the belief they need to get on board with with you. There's the beliefs that need to come on down. Just let the walls fall. And then there's the belief that they do need to believe. That they do need to believe. And this can be really varied, okay? They might need to believe that they're a consistent person. They might need to believe that they finish what they start. I mean, there's so many different things that people need to believe. And I think that that's what I want to get across to you the most is people, yes, they need to be informed, but more importantly, they need to, and they want to be transformed. And that is why a sales girl's mission is to help transform people from the inside out, to speak to their heart and let it get through to their mind, but mostly let it get through to their heart so that they take action and they get the results that they've always wanted. And I know that that's why you do what you do is to get people results, but they will not do it if their thinking hasn't changed. 
Swiping a card will not do it, but being bought in with their heart will. So I, I hope that this encourages you. I hope that you know that posting is not just post like posting is not selling. Selling is not posting. They are two different things that you can infuse your sales message, your belief message, your, in, your transformational message into every post you do, no matter what platform you're on. There is no limit, whether it is LinkedIn, TikTok, YouTube, podcast, anything you want to do can be done with a transformational sales message that infuses belief from you to them. And it fires you up at the same time to continue doing what you were made to do. If you like this, there's more to come. Subscribe. Leave a comment, would love to hear from you, and I will see you on the next video.